Good morning, class. Happy Sunday. My name is Miss Sadie. And I'm Miss Sabrina. And we're going to be the te your teachers for the new quarter. We're super excited to dive into God's Word with you and learn more about Jesus. We're glad you came to class. We're glad you came to class. With all the other boys and girls, we're glad you came to class. Great job. When we come to Bible class, what is the first thing that we do? We pray. Right, we pray. What are we going to pray about today? Today we're going to pray about our food, for our church, and pray about our parents. Awesome. All right. God is listening, God is listening, when I pray, when I pray. Bow your head so nicely, close your eyes so tightly, God is near, God is near. Dear Lord, thank you so much for allowing us to be here on this blessed Lord's Day. Thank you so much for all the little hearts that are tuning in and watching these videos. Thank you, Lord, for all the care and nourishment you give us. Thank you so much for the food you provide us. Thank you, Lord, for the parents that you give us and the nourishment that you allow them to provide. Thank you so much, Lord, for our church and our church family. Thank you for allowing us a safe place to learn and grow in your word. Please bless this class, Lord, and the rest of the week. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. <clears throat> so let's do a little bit of re review. What is this book? The Bible. Right. This book's the Bible. And what what's so special about the Bible? The Bible's God's word. Right. The Bible's important because it's God's word. And how many books are in the Bible? 66. 66. 66, 66, 66 books in the Bible. Awesome job. So there's 66 books in the, in the Bible. How many parts are there in the Bible? There's two. Two. We have the Old Testament and the New Testament. Awesome job. Miss Mary Stewart says you've been working super hard on learning those books of the New Testament. Let's go ahead and practice those really quick. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Acts to the letters to the Romans. First and second Corinthians, Galatians and Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, first and second Thessalonians, first and second Timothy, Titus and Philemon, Hebrews, James, first and second Peter, first and second and third John, Jude and Revelation. Awesome job, guys. I know you've been working super hard on those, and I cannot wait until we're in person again so that I can hear you guys sing those. Okay, so what special four books are at the beginning of the New Testament? The Gospels. Right, the Gospels. And what does the word gospel mean? Well, it doesn't mean the bad news. No, it doesn't mean the bad news. It means the good news. But the good news about who? Jesus. Right, the good news about Jesus. Jesus is the son of God. He came to earth and did so many things for us while he was here. And that's who we're here to learn more about. And we'll also want to learn about the apostles. Right. The apostles are in the New Testament. Jesus called them one by one. Peter, Andrew, James, and John. Then came Philip, Thomas too. Matthew and Bartholomew. James, the one they called the less, Simon, also Thaddeus, the twelfth disciple Judas made. Jesus was by him betrayed. Yes, Jesus called them. Yes, Jesus called them. Yes, Jesus called them. He called them one by one. Great job, guys. Let's go ahead and get into our story for today. Okay. So our story today is about a young man who comes up to Jesus with some questions. And this young man, he was blessed to have a lot of stuff, a lot of things that he really liked, and a lot of money. And he, he really liked those things. He loved having those things. And so he came up to Jesus and asked him, what must I do to get to heaven? Jesus he said, you must keep my commandments. What does it mean to keep his commandments? Well, it means to do what God says. Right. It means to do what God says. It means to obey what Jesus is saying and what God is saying. 
And the young man, he asks, which ones? And Jesus says, you shall not kill, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not lie, obey your father and mother, and love your neighbor. Are those all things that we should remember today? Yeah. Yeah, those are all things that we should remember today when we want to obey God's word. The young man, he was kind of confused. He said, Jesus, I've done all of these things since I was little. I've always done these things. Is, what else? Is there anything else I need to do? And Jesus, he knew that this young man had a lot of stuff and he had a lot of things that he really liked. And so Jesus, he asked him and told him and said, sell everything you own and give it to the poor. Why would Jesus do something like that? Why would he ask this young man who had all these things that he really liked to sell everything that he had? He wanted, Jesus wanted his whole heart. He wanted the young man to not love anything on this world more than he loved Jesus, more than he wanted to follow Jesus. Of course, this made the young man sad. Wouldn't it make you sad if you had to get rid of the things you didn't, or that you loved? Jesus knew that it would make him sad, but Jesus wanted him to follow him with his whole heart. If we want to follow Jesus and go to heaven, we have to be willing to do with whatever Jesus asks us to do, even if it's hard, even if it's something we don't want to do. Jesus, he promises us if we do this, then he will give us an eternal home in heaven, a forever home with him. And Jesus, he loves us so much, but he wants us to love him even more, more than anything in this whole world. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Awesome job. What else should we do for God? What else does he ask us to do? Well, we should pray, we should obey our parents, and we should read the Bible every day. Exactly. Exactly. Well, awesome job, guys. Let's sing one more song, and then we'll go ahead and say our goodbyes. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Awesome job. I absolutely loved doing this lesson with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thank you so much for being willing to learn today. We love you. We can't wait to see you again. And we can't wait to be back on here again next week. Thanks, guys.